everyone. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the Dubert webinar. So today we're going to be looking at how to upload animal profiles to our cases in CCM. So this is a new way that we have to create animal profiles within your cases and it's super fast and I personally really like it because it's great for adding multiple at a time. So um, other than that, we're going to be demoing in our beta environment. It's like a sandbox for testing, things like that. So if anything looks a little off, um, that would be why, but I'll let you guys know if I run into anything. But other than that, um, let's get started. So looking at our overview, so the first thing that we're going to do for this process is we're going to want to create a new case for every case that we want to upload animal profiles to. So this is going to be kind of an action within one case. So if we want to do it in multiple, we're going to want to open multiple cases, um, things like that. So we're going to want to then create a mapping template to use when we're adding our animal profiles. So um, our system is going to give you directions on what to do with this and kind of how it works. But I'll walk you guys through the process of everything included in that. Um, and like I said, this is really great for adding multiple animal profiles at a time or if you pull them from another platform. Um, this is a great way. So you can pull a report off another platform then and then you can kind of just configure your data into this and then upload your animal profiles. So a lot of different ways that you can do that. But um, other than that, if we check out our next slide, we have to create a case first, like I said. So we're going to want to create a case with all of our key information that relates to the case, such as the animals included in the case, any case tags that we want to add, or tags about the contact, or files, anything like that. So we're really just going to build out a case that we want these animal profiles to live within. And then moving down to uploading animal profiles, we're going to want to either choose an existing mapping template from our um, organization if we've created one before, but if we haven't, then we're going to want to create a new one. So I'm going to walk you guys through how to create a new one. And then we're going to want to include animal type primary breed and animal name. Those are the required fields for the mapping template. So then anything else we want to add, we can, but we just have to have those three at a minimum. Um, and then we're going to configure our mapping fields to an Excel file or um, sheets, any, any type of spreadsheet viewer that you want to use. Um, and then we're going to just start adding animal profile information by row to a spreadsheet, and then we're just going to upload. So I'm going to jump into the system, walk you guys through how to do this, and then we're going to come right back into the slideshow for a quick Q&A. Okay, so I'm logged in to my organization's account, and the first thing I'm going to do is head over to Companion Case Management and click on our cases right here. And then we're going to start by creating a new case from scratch. So we're going to want to click on this plus sign right here, and we're going to click Add. And we're just going to start filling in case name, status, all things like that. So. I am going to just start filling all that in. So we're just going to create one for myself. We're going to choose our case status. We'll do a, let's see, we'll do active foster. We'll do a foster profile for this one. Um, and then our case type, we are going to do a foster volunteer right here. And then for the case description, you can put anything you want in there. I'm just going to put a little bit about my foster profile. Um, just to give you guys the most real life example that I can. So I am just going to say that Lena has been fostering for over three years. Now she has experience with both dogs and cats as well as kittens and puppies. Whoops. So that's good enough for me. So now we're going to keep going for creating our case. So now we're going to put in our contact name. And if we want to put in an address, we can. Um, phone, secondary phone, email as well. We don't have to, but I'm just going to pop in some other required fields for us. There we go. And then I'm just going to put in five zeros for our zip code. And that all looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and click save on this. And now we're going to start going through and adding our tags or tags about the contact, really anything else that we want to put in this case to really build it out. So, for example, we are just going to put um, my foster preferences. So we'll do cats. Um, we can do interested in cats, dogs, 
as well. We can put only that I would only take a spade dog or neuter dogs, things like that, large dogs, all things like that. So we can just put preferences in here through the case tags just as an example. So I'm just going to do two for now because I'm sure you guys get the idea. Um, but if we want to add any additional tags about the contact here as well, we can put I have a fenced yard. And I have dogs of my own right here, for example. But other than that, that is all I'm going to build out for my case for this one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hop back over into the details section and I'm going to head down to the animal profile section right here. So add an animal profile. We can do a full ad, which is what we do in a lot of the webinars. Um, we can do the quick ad where we can just add five, six at a time, or we can add from my org or we can upload, which is what we're going to do. So the difference between the quick ad and the upload is the quick ad, if you'll see, it only has a few fields that you fill out when you're doing them. So for example, only animal name, type, primary breed, gender, and weight. So the benefit of uploading is because then you can include more fields at one time. So um, that is really the best way to go about it if you want to have a lot of information in your animal profiles versus just maybe five fields and then you'll have to go back in manually and enter that. Um, so just to get into it, we're going to click on upload animal profiles right here. And here we're going to be able to choose an existing mapping template. So if we have any already created, we can choose from right here. But if we don't, we're going to create a new one. We're going to click on manage templates up here. And here is where we're going to get the steps to create a new one. So we have the template name, upload file. We can select any that we already have right here or we can upload. So I'm going to click on upload for the directions. And what this is saying is please upload your mapping template to the file below. If you run, in the in, run into any issues, reach out to us at, at support at duber.com. Um, you can reach us at help at, help at duber.com or support at duber.com, whatever you prefer. But anyways, the file should only contain the animal's details that you want to map into row one. Any data in row two and beyond will not be pulled in at this time. So we're going to basically be uploading this spreadsheet twice. So in the first time, all we're going to do is put in the information just like this. So for example, animal name, animal type, primary breed, dewormer product, dewormer date given. These are just some examples. So you can add through the clinical tab as well. Um, but what we're going to do is hop into a blank spreadsheet and start filling all these out. Okay, so now I'm in a blank spreadsheet. So I'm just going to start filling in this um, first row one that we're going to upload. So, so just starting with animal name. Okay, so I have all these put in here. And then one thing you want to keep in mind is if in the animal profile that the field is a drop down, you're going to want your fields to match one for one. So for example, for the breeds, um, with that one, it's always good to add a drop down of the same breeds that are in Dubert into your sheet if you want to kind of have the same look if you're going to repurpose the spreadsheet, because then you'll have all the breeds matched one for one. Um, but then same goes for gender. We'll have to do female, male, spade, neutered, things like that. So you just want to be familiar with the drop downs because they will match one for one in order to pull in all the information. So this is all we're going to do for step one. And what we're going to do right now is just save this as a Excel file or any type of file. It says what you can do in the upload section. There's like, I think five of them. But other than that, we're going to just save this and upload. Okay, so now I am back into the system where we're going to upload our template. So I'm going to click on upload file right here. Okay, so I have it uploaded in here. It all looks good. It took the file format. So we're going to go ahead and click on continue. And then right here is where we're going to be able to match them with the fields in Dubert. So right here, we're going to put animal name with animal name. So we're just going to go through and basically match these. So animal type, animal type, primary breed, animal breed right here, age text, animal age text, and gender, animal gender. So that all looks good. We're going to go ahead and click save. So now we have our mapping template created. So next what we're going to do is start filling in our animal information in our spreadsheet. So what we're going to do now is hop back over into our spreadsheet right here and we're going to start creating an animal profile. So we're going to put Remy 
and we'll put that she is a dog. She is a Labrador Retriever. And we'll put that she is three. Oops. And we'll put that she is a female spade. Okay, so that is all we're going to do. If we want to add multiple at a time, you can keep going in the spreadsheet, but I don't want to waste your time, so I'm just going to show you one. So that all looks good. We're going to save this and we're going to upload it. Okay, so now we have our template created. We have our animal profile saved and we're ready to start uploading. So I'm going to click on my webinar upload one under choose a mapping template. So this is the one we just created. So now we're just going to upload. Okay, so this looks good. We're going to click on add animals. And now it's just going to reload our case and we're going to see our animal profile is right here. It looks good. It all came in. So we're going to just click on these three dots and we're going to click on edit just to check it out. So as we can see, the age fell in, the primary breed. Like I said, you can take these lists and pop them into your Excel sheet as well to just kind of have that one for one match right here. Um, but all this looks good. We have that the dog, we have the gender came in here as well. So this all looks great. And like I said, you can add as much information in here as you want to. Um, it'll all work very, very similar. You'll just be able to go through and match those fields to create your template. And then once it's set, you're all good to go. So now we're going to hop back into the slideshow for just a quick Q and A. Okay, so our first question is how many animal profiles can I add to my case? So that's a great question and you can add as many as you want. Honestly, um, there is no limit on how many you can put into your case. So um, our next question is how can I edit my animal upload templates? So great question. So we're gonna jump back into that manage templates page that we were on. So up here, I have manage mapping templates up here. So we can see all the ones that we currently have. If you have a lot, you can search them. Um, but with this, we can just click on this. We can delete. We can't go through and edit them without creating a new one. All we can do is rename it or delete it. So unfortunately, you would have to just create a new one if you're looking to make any edits to it. But other than that, that is how we can manage the current templates that we have. Well, other than that, that is all I have for today's webinar. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you in our future.